Hello guys, I'm Massimo Boscherini and today I'm going to guide you with a very quick tutorial on how to make a Google quiz. Now, your first step is of course to open your um, Google Chrome browser, log in using your uh, Google School account and as you can see already done that okay and as usual when we're looking for apps we're going to click on the grid here on the top right corner okay i've done that so now i'm looking for the app known as forms so it's not here let's scroll down there you go uh, you recognize it because this is purple icon so i will click on it and it will open uh this new window usually you have a list of quizzes you already have done or forms you have done but you see it always gives you the option blank quiz so we're going to click on that we're going to start our quiz from scratch and here we are so this is the first thing you should see now a blank quiz and uh, and let's see how we set up our first quiz so my idea today is to make a quiz for my students to test their knowledge about the city of Florence. So I will start by writing here in the title, How well do you know Florence? Okay, now that is the title of a quiz that my students are going to see. Um, sometimes it automat automatically updates the, 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 the name of your file. If not, you can just, you know, copy paste okay and that's now your tutorial of your uh quiz now if you want to give further instructions about the quiz in general this is where you want to put it now form description okay answer uh all the questions to test your knowledge 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 of our city okay and of course I'm, I'm a terrible typer as you can see okay so now we're ready to start adding some questions now uh, a Google quiz allows you to make several type of questions the default one is multiple choice uh, which you can recognize by this circle uh, so you write your, your question and then every option is marked by a circle this means this question will allow only for one correct answer so let's make one example of that i will make a very simple one uh, who built okay sorry who built the dome or the ca cathedral of florence okay and now I can start putting some random answers. Okay, for instance, I can put Leonardo da Vinci, or I can put Michelangelo Bonarroti, or I can put Donatello, or I can put what we know is the correct answer, Filippo Brunelleschi. Okay, so now I gave all the options. And, and now I need to tell the system what is the correct answer. So I go here where it says answer key. Okay. And now we'll mark the correct answer. Now, now you see, now it's marked with this uh, green check. And I will need to decide how many points this question is worth. Now, since it's a multiple choice with only one correct answer, I will put this as one point. And then I click done. Okay. Now, uh what do you see here required if you click on this means that whoever takes this quiz cannot leave this question unanswered okay now normally if you set a quiz for your students you might want to have all of these um questions as required okay now another interesting thing is that it's already telling you how many points this question is worth and at the end, it will also tell you how many points the whole quiz is worth. Okay, so let's try a different kind of question. So if you want to add another question, we'll click here on the plus. You see, add question. 
okay now um let's try another multiple choice today i'm going to make it very very easy but just to tell you what are the possible choices you have you have multiple choice you have check boxes check boxes means that instead of a of a circle let's try that you will have squares that means this is a question that can accept multiple answers not only uh in order to get the question right, you have to select all of the correct answers. Uh, you have also drop down. Drop down means that the the possible answers will will appear as a drop down menu. Okay, and then you have also a short answer paragraph. So that is the kind of question where you want your students to have to write something significant. Okay, today we'll just keep it simple so i'm going back to multiple choice i'll add one last question what is the name what was the name sorry what was the name of the ruling family of florence and i know all of you know already the answer and by the way look how smart this is it's already giving you a possible answer that is actually a little bit disturbing to my opinion but hey, okay let's move on so i will put another wrong answer the gonzaga then i'll add medici okay then i will add sforza and then i will add doria so these were all very important uh families across italy but we know the answer is and now you know i have to go to the answer key i'll check medici I'll make this one worth one point and I'll make this question as required. Every time, if you feel that you have a question which is almost identical as the previous one, you can make a copy, a duplicate of that. Um, you can add pictures. For instance, you can have a quiz where you, you upload for pictures and then, for instance, you ask, okay, which of this picture is representing a mammal? Okay, something like that. Um, but there are many, many things you can explore. But for now, I will just want to keep it simple. Okay, so at this point, I'm happy. This is my quiz. So what do you need to do next? Okay, uh, what you can do, you can go here where you see this gear. Now, you know, this is the now the almost universal symbol for settings. Okay, now... Uh, there are several things you can play around, but really what we want to look at is for quizzes. Okay, so we want to make this a quiz. Okay, and now this is a recent feature, locked mode on Chromebooks. Uh, I will not experiment this with you, but if this is something I really recommend since all our middle school students have Chromebooks. Now what happens if you send a quiz which is on locked mode, that means that when the student starts the quiz, uh, it cannot, he or she cannot exit the quiz. Or if he or she does that, you will get a notification. Uh, so the idea is you get on lock mode, you cannot open new tabs, you will just have full screen your quiz and you have to start and finish it. Okay, so I will do that. Although I will not be able to uh, show that to you because I'm not currently on a Chromebook. You might, this might be on a, another video. Okay, so release mark, I will do that because this will be a self-correcting quiz. Students can see once they finish what are the missed question, the correct answer, point values. Okay, and what is important is, okay, I'm done. So I'll save it and I can actually see a uh, preview on how this one looks like so i will click here on the eye icon okay all right oh it says i cannot access this quiz lock mode is on okay that was something new so i will for now for now i will turn off lock mode there you go okay and i will look at the preview Okay, so this is how the quiz looks like from the point of view of a student once it started. Now, it's also important that the way these quizzes are set, uh, students, students can only answer it once because it will collect 
the email address of those who are responding. So you see, it's saying that this is you, okay? And I can submit only one. So let's go back to this. Oh, by the way, you can play around here for the theme. So, I mean, this is like the custom, the, 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 the default way this ha appears, but you can add background, you can choose font, etc. This is something I will leave you to play around, okay? So let's get back to this thing. I'll put it back to uh, lock mode, okay, save. At this point, normally what you can do, you can add it to Google Classroom. Now, this time I will just test it on myself. So I will send it, okay? I'll send it to myself, okay? So there you go. All right, so at this point, I will check if it's on my uh, inbox. In the meantime, I just uh, realized that if you set up locked mode, uh, you cannot open it on a device which is not a Chromebook. So this is, you know, you, you learn things as you go. So I will turn off locked mode at this point. Sorry for the confusion. I will send it again to myself. Okay. And now I'm ready to try the quiz. So, I'll open a new tab. I'll open my Gmail. And if everything goes right, well, I should have a new email from myself. Very good. How well do you know Florence? So fill out form. And that's the quiz. Okay, now what I will do. Okay, I will read it. So who built the Dome of the Cathedral of Florence? I'll give the correct answer here. And just for fun, uh, what was the name of ruling family of Florence? I will put a wrong answer. I'll put the Sforza. And now I will submit. This is really what happens on the student side. So let's see what happens from a point of view of a student that gets your uh, quiz. Okay. So my response has been recorded. I cannot go back. I cannot um, do it again. And let's see my score. Okay, so this is also very interesting because immediately it tells you how many points you got. I got one point out of two because I got the correct one for this one, but I got the wrong one. And it's telling me, okay, this was your correct answer. Now, as you can see, this is really a, a very short introduction on how to use Google Forms to make a Google quiz. But I hope this will help you start, you know, exploring a little bit. I might be doing uh, more videos about this. We're going to try locked mode next on the Chromebook. Okay, but for now, long.